Hey guys, right here, and welcome back to Mach 3. We just took out all the cabos and lieutenants, and now we gotta go take out Santangelo. Then we can get Samacano, I guess. So I guess you and think River Row drops into Jello. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alrighty. Guess we need to find someone. And they're gonna attack us, I'm guessing. Like, we the scope fields. This is the circle is not getting any smaller. Oh, police here. Yep. Uh, I tired of this. What they didn't count? Go back here. That didn't even count. Wow. That's neat. Let me grab this car, I guess. Drove too far away. There we go. Oh, I mean, mine's left though. Mm. Oh, yeah, we're good. And we didn't lose to Jello either. We use up like all my fucking equipment. So, yeah, see what he got to say to us. It's a longer direction than before. Must be <laughs> My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Lincoln Clay? These things mean the same thing. <laughs> oh. There we go. Easy enough. Alright, let's go talk to Donovan, I guess. Alrighty, let's try this again, I guess. Alright, froze on me once, he freezes again. There we go, there okay, we good. Wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. 
There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Who'd you say? Well, I did it myself. Ear to ear, just like you want. Any sign of Dagamo? No. He's gone. I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. I am leveraged out the ass. Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We're fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets, we go find that cuck. Every low-life ball of piss in this city smells blood in the water. My blood. You understand? And they step over their own mother if it meant being the one that clipped me. I wouldn't last ten minutes out there. Don't let them come in here and fuck us. There's got to be something we can do. You call up whatever men we still have left. You tell them to meet us up there at the casino. And when Lincoln Clay shows up, we'll do everything we can to plant that goddamn ground right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Now go! God damn it! Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. <laughs> it's either this or right away in some goddamn office. And once you've killed those assholes, you come and find me. I'll be hanging around over at the Padres. You got it. Alrighty. Give them hell, champ. And sing song at the beginning of the game. And here we are. Alright. Don't we have enough money to purchase body armor? So yeah. I'm just gonna roll with this. Let's go to the casino, I guess. See you guys there. Call of Duty. This is extremely lavish. I said so myself. Gotta go. Of course, we'll be there too. Immediately in combat. Yeah, are you smiling a little comfy? Oh, there he is. You got some allies as well. How did they get up there? Get on down now. Uh, I was gonna pick up some old pistol. Ooh. Push onwards, I guess. Next time, man. Still a push. Hmm. See so if we go further, I guess. Fuck him up. There we go. Okay. Way too close. Alrighty. You let the boys downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker, just like we said. Be careful.
Hey, fresh armor, I guess. Uh, if I only had a suppressed weapon right now. Every time I don't bring a suppressed weapon, I can stealth. There's gonna be some sort of driver sequence as well. What you wait for? Let's go! Fucking move! You cut like butter. You think I'm gonna roll it over like a fucking dog? Fuck you! I think it's gonna be like an endurance battle, to be honest. No, okay. Yes, last guy. Let's oh, Georgie. Ammo. 
this way up. There we go. That's what I wanted. I was around this few more. Backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. I did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. And you understand why I have to do this. One Marcano is left. Front Marcano. I can't use my weapons either. Interesting. Sorry, I don't think I. He wants me to immediately just shoot him. At least want to go over there and talk to him. Let's see how it is. Hell of a sight, ain't it? When I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. I had this important. Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knocked my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. There's another one well. Cotton mouths. Biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's lay 
straight out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I gotta listen as all those men die. I imagine that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And this, this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people, more than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And yet here we are. Yes, here we are. My son is dead, and I'm having a drink with his killer. Now, I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Yeah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. What are you waiting for? Fucking do it. Finish this, you fucking coward. Hmm. You're just gonna fucking stand there? Fuck it. Fuck you! Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, alright, I guess we'll leave the casino. Commissioner? Commission? I take it you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant to figuratively. Shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> You know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. 
they see Sally up by the shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net. Cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, you? No, sir. In exchange, you run things as you see fit. You sell heroin, a whorehouse on every other corner. Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters, 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Well, any episode here, like if you enjoyed, subscribe for new, comments next, and goodbye.